checking, checking. Checking, checking. One, this is Hammer of the Super Paladin Bros. Last time we began the Klingon Civil War. Now we continue. We just barely escaped death on Kitimer, so. And now we're teamed up with um, Jaula. Strange about fellas. As I said, we're going to skip this mission. Ah, I have discovered the location of the evidence we need to clear our names. Obtaining that data, however, will be difficult. For one, it is stored in a secure facility in the Gorath system. For another, it is held within a system that utilizes cutting-edge data security. Security that goes even beyond my abilities. Fortunately, I happen to know a very talented specialist that can assist us. For the right price. I've arranged a meeting at Shangdo on Nimbus 3. Meet me there, and bring old Martok with you. We can always use some extra muscle. <laughs> Alright, let's head to Nimbus 3. Well, we know that Jempok was behind the attack on Kuvat. And Kenimer. Sorry if I'm not speaking much, but just nothing much to talk about these days. Just tired. Just emotionally drained from life right now. Smells like violence and vice. 
I can see why Adit Paw enjoys it. Indeed, this place doesn't hide its purpose behind smiling half-naked fools and manufactured weather. But enough of that. We need to consider who we're working. She is Mokai. Only an idiot would not be concerned about her intentions. It is no secret how I feel about Jempak, especially after everything that has happened. But I find myself thinking, we may be replacing one tyrant with another. Should that prove to be the case, I will not hesitate to end Jaula's reign as well, even if it means being the Chancellor again. Ha! Do the job for a day, and see if you say the same thing afterward. So now, let's find this witch of Nimbus Three, and see what sort of criminal mischief she's conjured up for us. Should be fun. Welcome to Shangdu, an entertainment experience unlike any other. Brought to you by Madrin Enterprises. Would you like to hear about our... Why, yes, I saw a particularly fearsome-looking Klingon woman arrive earlier. She wasn't interested in the drink specials either. This is normally where I'd expect a little compensation for letting you cut to the head of the line, but uh, I can see you're not in the mood for a shakedown, so... Please, go on in. Just gotta find the right person where, no, where Adepta is. And you can find him over here. Help you with something, stranger? As a matter of fact, I have. She's over in the VIP section with some rough customers. Sar kicked some fella in his tender parts a while ago. Found out the hard way it ain't wise to rile up a Klingon gal. Just saying, she might be a move. Fred lightly, you know. All right, let's get to the VIP section. My win character would fit in right here. And here they are at last. Did you get a little distracted by the local talents on the way here? <laughs> I'm munching on some dinner, so. This place isn't as wild as it used to be when Hassan and the Syndicate called the shots. Back then, the place was actually evil. Your reputation precedes you. I have to say, I've never done business with a hero before. Ought to be interesting, at least. Couldn't agree with you more. The surly, well-armed Orion next to me is Kenya. And the esteemed daughter of Earth there is Wilkins. Our information... Hear that, Kenya? <laughs> Hold us, ladies. I like him already. I'll bet she does. I'm a handy gal to have around. Especially if you're looking to acquire some very secure data from some very cranky folks in a certain empire we all know and love. With both hands and my feet if I need them. <laughs> Relax. Our mutual friend, the witch here, wouldn't have set up this little palaver if she didn't think I was the right gal for the job. I'll get you. Picking up a lot of EM interference. Uh oh, this is not good. Sort of We've got incoming! Playing on security.
Even the bar pa patrons don't like these clowns coming in. Yes, the battle is all but won! Keep fighting! But we're not quite done. We're being hailed. Looks like a locals. Well, well, well. Having a little trouble contacting your ship. No transporter waiting to beam you up? You can thank me for that, friend. Chancellor Jim Puck has placed a bounty on your head. Enough latinum to buy a small moon. With that kind of profit on the line, I simply had to turn you into the Gligons. What Ferengi in their right mind wouldn't? As far as I'm concerned, the wrong Klingons are about to set sail for Stovokor or Varahala, or wherever they go when they die. I'm afraid I'm... I think I'm going to agree to disagree. Jim Falk must be desperate. He keeps sending mercenaries after us. That Ferengi's got this place locked down tight. Only way we're getting out of here. As a matter of fact, I do. The little darling's hiding in the arena. Uh, you mind taking that field Madre down? Visit. I got a splinter in my hacking finger. You! You are my nemesis, my tormentor, the Odo to my quark. This time, though, I'm going to be rid of you at last. There's no way you'll bypass my disruption field and beam out to safety. Yes, that little chap, I think not. As soon as the Klingons and I settle that minor disagreement over my pay... He'll surrender if we can get past the... All right. Let's see how you handle my Mugato. Ah, Mugato. So hot right From the planet near all. They're gonna keep appearing until you deactivate the generator. Alright, let's go to this one. How about a little local flavor? Oh, the day Sting the arthropods.
can't fight because you gotta keep working on the generator. Shields losing power! Crush them, Squamous! Crush them! Oh, crap. It's like right out of... Tyrannosaurus Rex. Last time I saw anything like that was in um, Family Guy back to that multiverse. to my ship and leave you here for whatever bounty hunters or mercenaries that come along. Oh, not much. Other than I've broken through the jamming and, oh, contacted our ships. It appears they've locked their weapons onto Madran's ship in orbit. All of their weapons. You, you wouldn't dare. You couldn't. Could you? First the Klingons betray me, and now this! I'd have better luck dealing with the Borg! Fine, you win! The field- Let's get moving. If the Ferengi hasn't told Jempok and Imperial Security where we are by now, I'll eat cold, dead gawk. We need to get moving. As ready as possible under the circumstances, Nimbus 3 has become considerably more in... The crew of the Cold Star stands ready. Some of us a little more than others. What can I say? This caper's gonna be a real peach. Hell, I'd have signed up just for the bragging rights. Well, that said, the latinum we're getting for this is gonna spend mighty nicely. Think I might spend the entire summer on Risa. Y'all seen those cute little statues they got there? Whew! A girl can get into all sorts of mischief with one of those. Burn to the Horgons.
Lucara is engaging the enemy ahead. I see no need for Jaula to claim. Okay. Transmissions from the Loyalist vessels, but one of the cowards managed to escape the battle. It will not be long before he returns with reinforcements. Good. Meet me at the following co- I am not a leader who hides behind their allies like Jempak. If the key to his defeat lies in that stronghold... If you two Tars are done growling at each other, we have work to do on Gorath. This place used to be a stronghold for House Torg. I reckon- We can mock our enemies later, General. Until then, we have- Yeah, about that. I took a little peek at the data flow around here, and I've located a prime access point. It's not far. I should be able to get what we need there. Hold on a sec. Lock tight. <laughs> I handled it. It's finding it hard to come up with words. As far as Bar Talk has a few things to say about Imperial security. Another blast door unlocked. You're welcome. There's our console. Back there in the corner. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, folks. Stand back and watch this magic happen. Oh, and if you don't mind, please keep any uninvited.
Imperial security. I think they're learning just how dangerous we are. Or a smart talk can be a little bit sarcastic. Okay, good news, bad news time. Yeah. Bad news is they broke it up, stored it in several systems here. This here's the first system. I need to crack the next one to get to the rest of the good. Well, the good news is I extracted some of the data you were looking for. It's encrypted. But I can crack that later. Ready to move on? Console's behind that big door. At the end of the hall. Here we go again, folks. You know the... Sorry. Klingon intelligence must have lowered their standards to let these people enjoy their ranks. Alright. Oh, you yes, definite problem. Some sneaky bastards in the system with me. They shunted the last bit of data before I could grab it. It ain't all bad. I managed to lock the network down before they could get it out or delete it. It's stuck in another system, though. If we hurry, we can get to it for whoever's bl Okay. Getting more interesting. Like that locked door is gonna stop me. Huh. Jempok wants them alive. Deny them an honorable death. I 
our last console behind that door on the right hand side. Gonna need an extra set of hands here. Our mysterious friend might try to stop me. And I need one of you to run in. Her. Do you have it? Do we got it all right, but the other side knows we did too. You ask me, it's time to get out of here while the getting's good. We can't beam out of here. Room's heavily shielded. Yeah, and that's not exactly a safe place either. And so you're treason. Your dishonor grows. I suppose I should thank you. The evidence you've collected will help me keep Jumpak in line. After I take it from your corpses, of course. <laughs> of course, it's gonna be a lot harder. Oh, Do you God. like my pet? <laughs> uh, it has half your looks and twice your brains. <laughs> At least I have both my eyes, old man. Training Togs for battle has been a family specialty for centuries. According to legend, my ancestors could fire lightning from their eyes. With this power, they tamed the first wild Togs. Primitive, superstitious nonsense. Ah, but in battle, such nonsense can be most effective. As you are Great. about to learn. Makhui! You dishonor your house and your people! I will drag you to the deepest pit in Grethel and leave yep. you to rot! Now we gotta fight all this stuff. Well, you say hello to my pet. down.
Come, I will give you a good death. A warrior's death! We have the evidence. Once I am back on the Lucara, I will breach security on one of the comsats in orbit over Gorath. After that, I will transmit the evidence of Jempok's crimes throughout the Empire. I think I can quicken that up considerably. I've seen enough of their code to crack one of their comsats like an egg. That is acceptable. Your assistance will be appreciated, Wilkins. And well rewarded. Enough talk. The means to end Jimpok's reign is in. Lucara is in position. We are about to begin the process. And by we, she means me. Hi. First time I've ever been on a Klingon ship, and it's nice and all, but I could do without a... After what we just went through, huh, this will be a walk in the park. Check your long-range sense. This pathetic crusade right. of yours is here and now, sleep. fools. Ah, Jumpbox here. Saves me the trouble of hunting him down. The gem Park of the Empire! Kabla! This is the Lucara. Immediate assistance is required. Working on it. Warriors of House Fokai. Defend the Matriarch! The Lucara is making enemy fire! Fire. 
the Klingon Empire. Bear witness to the treason of Jimpok, the true mastermind behind the attack at Kittimer. Fire the weapon. That is Jimpok's vessel. He fired the weapon. This dishonor must be avenged. Bah! Nothing but more Mokai lies. Neither Jimpok nor Chaula is fit to lead. I will not follow either of them into battle. The Empire has lost its way. Helm, set a course for home. Our house must secure its own path forward. Alone. They are leaving. They abandon us. Cowards! Traitors all! The Great Houses have lost their honor! It does not matter. The Empire has no need of a High Council. All it needs is an Emperor. It was all in vain. The battle was won. But the Alliance of the Great Houses... My brother's greatest work is lost. Well, exposed to treason of Jempod, but what cost? The battle is over. Yet the victory we have earned is bereft of glory. This has taken a toll on Lady Jaula. I believe she has suffered a crisis of faith. We must leave this place. Jim Bok in his first act as Emperor, has dismissed the High Council. The Alliance of the Great Houses, forged by Tukuvma, has been shattered. Those who have not sworn fealty to Jimpok have split to pursue their own agendas. Only a scant few still stand with House Mokai. Lady Juula believes she must follow in her brother's footsteps and seek the wisdom of the monks on board. Only there, she will discover something you need. We're gonna skip the next mission. And go straight to the next one. The time has come at last. With the aid of Tenavik and the monks of Boreth, we are ready to take the next step on this strange, strange journey. We are ready to restore the soul of Lorel. Come to the monastery on Boreth as soon as you can. Lady Jula, General Martok, and I will be waiting for you there. Uh. 
Alright, let's go. Heading to the to Borov. What I am about to tell you is unusual. Tenavik believes that the soul of Laurel was not restored to her clone because it is trapped within the depths of Greth. Based on my own research, I am inclined. We aren't sure. What I do know is Lady Jula wants to take a spiritual journey to Grethor to liberate the soul of Laurel. Tenavik has assured us that such a journey is possible and is willing to facilitate the process. While some of us have our, if necessary, yes. She requests that you join her on this journey, however. You and General Mark. I have. I would like to see if such a thing can be done. If it is possible, Jeula will need all the help she can get in a place filled with the worst pieces of Bakhtag ever to call themselves Klingons. So we gotta travel to Great Thor again. You have arrived. Good. We have a challenging journey. It will be a challenge. One that will test your body, mind, and soul. Even the strongest of warriors can fight. The future of the Empire is at stake. Lorel can guide us to victory over Jempak. For that, I will do what must be done. Even if I have to destroy Fekla himself. To enter Grethor. You'll need to be on the precipice of death. The fumes of this incense. Oh, great. <coughs> One of the best improvements they made was at least that you, you can trigger your, uh, environmental suit without having to do it manually. Where the hell are we? This does not seem like Rethel. This is not Grethel. This is Koth. The Void. Why are we here? Perhaps we are here because our fates are not yet decided. But the ritual... It... Wait. Something approaches from the mists. What brings you to a place? Where neither honor nor dishonor reigns. Garon. I do not know you. You, I know from the tales of the past. Jaula, sister of Tukuvna, the matriarch of House Mokai. But you. General Matak. I will never forget you. Why are you here?
Okay. I must admit, I am surprised to see you here, Martok. Did your friends in the Federation finally convince you to do something less than honorable before you died? Was it Cisco? Who are you, Patak? And why are you... Wait. Those eyes. I have seen such... Yes, you have. For this is Galron, son of Morel, son of Akar. And to answer your question, I am not dead yet, Galron. My allies and I are... Passing through, are you? There are but two destinations you can reach from Kolp. And I'll wager you're not traveling to Stovokol. You mentioned my ancestor, Akar. He served House Mokai during the war with the Federation. Does your little journey have something to do with him? It does not. Though I suspect his treachery is the reason you are here now, Galron. After all, the dishonor of the father also dishonors his sons and their sons for three generations. You are many things, Martok, but a liar is not one of them. If I had any doubt of that, I would kill you where you stand for insulting the honor of my grandfather. Indeed. Grethel, our destination. You said it could be reached from here. I do. I can guide you there if you wish it. Wait. The Galron I knew would not aid anyone if it did not benefit him in some way. What scheme are you hiding behind this sudden act of benevolence? <laughs> Look around you, Mata. There is little to do in this place but brood and despair. I'm taking you there for my amusement. And perhaps there may be a way out of this place. If there is, I would find it. Even if I have to march at your side to do so. <laughs> Does that satisfy you? The thing about Garon is that he was neither a... He was sort of a... Neither a villain nor a hero. This is the barge of the dead, laden with souls bound for Grethor. The legends of the ferryman are true. You are caught. I am, and you are Ja'ula, kinswoman of Takuvma, matriarch of your house. It is not- My allies and I seek the soul of another. One who should be in Stovakor, but now dwells in Grethel. It is not your time. Lorel. I know no Lorel. But I know you, Jaula. You left me to die in a Starfleet prison. Oh, you rescued your pet, a car. But not a lonely Beck, trapped in his cell. And during that was no way for a warrior to die. Lorel, here? Kiyach! I may be a coward, but you are an idiot! Mind your tongue, or I will throw you overboard and feed you to the Coast Kari. Lady Jaul. Out of respect for the ferryman, I will refrain from such measures until they. Lady Jaula and General Martok, the architects of my downfall. My house swore allegiance to you, but I saw your crusade against Jempak for the folly it was. I refused your call to arms at Gorath, and for that, my first officer killed me and took my place as captain. You dishonored your house and your crew. You forgot what it meant to be Klingon. Wait your turn. I uh -oh. will have my vengeance before all others. Him again. I do not know who sent you here, Julia, and I do not care. M fight! Fight!
Enough! You shall earn no salvation through combat here. Bah! The very man has spared you. Bold words. The glory of combat, brief as it was, it felt good to engage. So, there is still something within you that knows what it means to be a warrior. You were the gal- Interesting. You became Chancellor after I fell in battle? Tell me you killed Worf. I did not. Worf still lives and serves the Empire to this day. I hope you can handle such- Let us ask the Ferryman how much longer it will be until we get to Grethor. You fight with purpose, Ja'ula. Honor to you. It will be some time before we arrive at Grethor. I seek Lorel. I have seen her. You can forget is So there is a way out of Greth, but if I can enter Grethor, I can find the liberation that Ja'ula and her allies seek for Lorel. I will tell you only this. Your story has not ended, Gauron, son of Marel. The scales can be shifted yet, for good. Okay, Garon has a chance to enter Stovacor. We have arrived. I will wait for you and your act. You are so it does. You will find Garon. <laughs> I do not doubt that. Soon, Fekla will know the frustration of dealing with a Klingon. The time has come. We shall see. The holes of Grethel. Okay. Look at these pathetic wretches. Reporting for damnation like it were duty. They're yeah, not the probably gates. it. Let us see if entering Grethor is as easy as Kortar said. No, I'll probably end up hell in hell. It's going to be like searching for a cloaked ship in the Briar Patch. We do not seek a mundane soul, General. Few Klingons do not know of Lorel. Thing is, I've been to hell and back. Hell myself, but it's not that interesting. I've been through hell in my life. I just don't find hell that interesting. Ah, more newcomers. This place, oh, it stinks. It's loud and teeming with demons. That said, oh, we are looking for Lorel. Huh. Can't say I have. Sorry. Well, don't make that face at me. See that man atop? It's easy. You see things you want souls to devour. I can help with that. No, not behold! You come out. Listen closely, Fatak. We seek Lorel. Have you seen her? You wouldn't! No, wait. You would. I can see it in your eyes. I have not seen... Fort must be further in. Let us head through these doors and... <laughs> You? Impressive. I said someone who looks a lot like Lorel has been seen around. Quiet type. Keeps to herself. Indeed. Ask Lothar. I run my little corner of things, and that's all. She's elsewhere. And for that, you need to talk to Lothar. Unless you... Sorry for lack of commentary, but it's just not much to say. Ah, the newcomers, with so many questions. Newcomers are quite popular, you know. You've been watched since you said- If you've been watching us, you know why we're here. Calm yourself, gentlemen. Enough. Well... What? Lorel? Gambler? No, no! 
I told you on the bar uh -oh. that vengeance would be mine. What I meant was, vengeance would be ours. Bunch of guys that don't like us very much. But we already killed. You're the finally run out. More time. Try to die well, Jaula. I was wondering when they'd make their move. Now I know. I can't fight them. Have they added another to their ranks? I think the fifth arrival is on our side. Killing you is almost poetic, traitor. We found the realm. Jaula, sister of the Kuvma. I know your story well. How you rose to power in House Mokai. Your even after my death, I heard tales of your exploits. You have made and ended. A great many. If you have heard of my exploits, you know of my clash with the tyrant, Jempak. Once he held the office you brought, the empire you led with honor is now divided, on the verge of collapse. I am... Your brother often spoke of your boldness. I suspect he might... Why seek to restore me from the dead when another former chancellor still breathes? Of what use am I when General Martok a warrior fit to weep. It appears you've heard of my exploits as well, Chancellor. As you should be, General. You have served the Empire with honor. And yet, you are reluctant to reclaim the office you once held. Why else would you be here now? I do not blame you. Word, join us. No, I cannot leave this place. It is a matter of honor. Once, I dwelled in Stovacor among the honored dead. But Vok, my greatest love, was denied entry. He was denied an honorable death. And thus, I could not bear that. And so, I came here and bargained with Feklar for his release. In exchange for Vok's freedom, I offered to take his... This is why I cannot leave. To do so would dishonor the agreement and condemn us both to eternal. No, I saw it. The crystal showed me the future, and you are a part of it. If you could strike a bargain with the master of Grethor, so can I. I have seen such determination before in the eyes of your honored brother. So be it. I the stairs beyond those doors lead to Feklar's Okay, we got a bargain with Feklar. Feklar. This ought to be great. The guards do not seem to be opposed to our passage. <laughs> they aren't here to keep us away from Freklar. They're here to keep us from escaping him. <laughs> you come here with hope in your heart. Great. Making a deal with the devil himself. Lady Jaula of House Mokai, I must offer my gratitude to you. Many fresh souls help. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Such impudence. I'm oh, sorry about that. Now we gotta fight him. The ferryman killed many a god by himself. Together, we should be able to finish off Thekla. Watch out! He's calling in tormented souls to fight us as well!
Yeah, fighting Bekar should be a TX. Task Force mission. Task Force mission during Halloween. I'd make a great one. <laughs> I can see now what my halls are filled with your slave foes. Your souls are now strong enough to withstand the power of Bethlehem. Lord of Bethlehem. Jahula. Fechla! If it's the soul of a chancellor you want, take mine instead. Intriguing. I accept, son of a rail. You shall be close. Are you mad, Jaron? Better to spend eternity with Klingons than to be alone in the void, even in a place like this. Lord Fekla, this should not be Gowron's fate. I will deliver the soul that belongs here. His treacherous ancestor, Rakar. Unacceptable! Gregor is filled with souls such as Rakar's. You will have to sweeten the deal. Very well. I shall deliver the souls of a car and Jeb Pak. Uh oh. <laughs> Offer Jeb Pak and. That is more like it. And I, I accept your generous offer. Deliver those souls to me, and Gowron shall be free as well. And now, I give you leave to go. Be gone. Now we gotta escape, uh, escape Fekalar Greathor with our lives. You are able to leave if you can, but you won't be able to leave free. Whoever brings your well back to me will be allowed to take her place in Stone Cold. Great. Like I've dealt with Ferengi that were less treacherous than Fekwar. We knew Fekwar was gonna double cross us. Yep, we gotta fight our way through hell. Be Again. ready. Every soul in Brethor stands between us and the gates. Let them come. If they want to die again, I'm happy to oblige them. Be mindful of their numbers and their treachery. Yeah, they're gonna try to kill us. Ah, oh, dang it! They're gonna try to make it impossible for us to leave.
Oh, there's your Shinora. I'm gonna need all hands on deck to get out of this. Quickly, open the front gates. Kortar is waiting for us on the barge. Yeah, if we can get out of here. It's not the only thing waiting for us on the other side. Get ready to fight! Yeah, what do you think I'm doing? And they already eliminated my crew. Fighting the hordes of the undead. Yeah, this, everyone knew that making that deal with Feklar is a bad idea. Exit. Stage right. Uh, no, I didn't want to do that. There's the box. Hurry! Oh, of course, they have fire breathing targs. Well, you think they're gonna just let me walk out? Kurtar, prepare to weigh anchor. We are leaving in a hurry. Get out of here. Welcome back to the world of the living, and not a moment too soon. A few minutes ago, sensors detected. Has her soul been liberated? She was right beside us, fighting the whole way. Did she did? I made sure of it. Check her.
is done. She is restored, reborn. <gasps> Doral's back. Her life signs are strong. Reading brain activity. Yes, you did it! Right. Three portals in total. Fekiri vessels are emerging from them as we speak. They're holding position. Lorel's presence may be a coincidence. Since their return to our space, the Fakiri have made numerous assaults on Bareth. Until now, those... And now, with the Empire in a state of disarray, the defense presence here is minimal. The Fakiri saw weakness. Indeed. If the Fakiri want to fight... Well said, Martin. You risked all to restore me to life. Honor... So be it. We will make our stand here. Let it be known that we never... I will need to go with one of you, however. After the loss of the Lucara, I have no vessel... I believe I can be of assistance there, Lady Jump. Yes, but we will need some time to prepare. Do what you can do. All right, let's fight the Fakiri again. Fakiri portal count remains at three. Our first priority. I'm reading heavy fluctuations in their graviton fields. At the moment, they appear weapons fire. Is we need to punch through the ships guarding the portals before reinforcements arrive. It won't take much to collapse the portals. Take them out as soon as you can. Gotta collapse the portal to ensure no more Fakiri come. The portal is the Portals are very vulnerable to photon torpedo. Any, any kind of torpedo. There's more to be done. Close the others quickly. yet. More Fakiri vessels are coming in from the last portal. Let's go after the portal. Target shield have failed. That's the last portal. Kapla! Let's deal with the Fakiri stragglers. Wait. Oh, great. So they're not finished with us here, Dave. Make ready for battle! Jolan, if you're going to do something, now's the time! 
The Fakiri Dreadnought is an impressive beast. I will enjoy killing you. up a ship entering the system at high warp. Another inbound KDF vessel. We can win this! Gotta wait. Target the nearest Vakiri flag. Victory is and now. destroy it! Together, Kabla! we have protected Boreth from our enemies and returned. She who was called Mother. Victory is ours! Truly a glorious battle, my lady. The Fakiri will take. Even so, things got too close for my liking. For a time, it seemed like there were more Fakiri in space than stars. Thankfully, the monks had that well-preserved surprise up their sleeves. 
Just where did you find that relic, Tadavik? We have kept it here since my mother's time. Once it served as her flagship. We preserved it as a reminder of a Klingon golden age. We knew one day it would be needed again, and it seems that time... Indeed. Though I yearn to command the Katinga once more, it has been far too long since I have done so. Space warfare has changed considerably since my time. Until I have reacclimated myself to this era, I can think of no better warrior to command this vessel than Lady jo You honor me, Lorel. Computer, note the transfer of command in the record of battle. For many, the Lucara was a symbol of division. May the Katinga serve as a... Let the honored few who came to Boreth's aid go now to every corner of the Empire. Tell everyone you meet what happened here today. Tell them that there is much to be done. We have an empire to restore and a tyrant to depose. But now is not the time for such things. Now is the time to honor our great victories. Tonight, we celebrate. Well. Restored Laurel and... Escape Great Thor. Now that Lorel has been restored, she will be able to counsel Lady Jaula on a great many things. Though I have great respect for Jaula, there are always lessons to be learned as a leader in the Klingon Empire. And in such matters, there is no better teacher than Lorel. Yes, with Lorel at her side, I believe Lady Jula can lead our house to victory over Jumpok and restore our shattered empire to glory. That battle lies something you need. All right, we finished the two missions. Uh, sorry, sorry. Next time we'll finish um, this story arc. And after this story arc, we'll do New Romulus. Do as much as we can, because I never can finish that one. So, but I, I this won't this one won't take very long. I can do it probably in one episode. So, but for now, this has been Harrow and the Super Pally Brothers. Sorry, I hardly slept last night. I might end up going to bed early. But for now, this has been Hammer, the Super Pally Brothers. Next time we'll finish the Klingon Civil War and start New Romulus, which won't take long. So, I want to say goodnight and peace out.